So now that we've figured out what the reaction is and we can kind of prove that, and we know that there's an enzyme or a biological catalyst in liver, okay, uh, we need to learn a little bit more about biological catalysts. I'm not being a very good scientist here and I'm, I'm uh, eyeballing this. Um, but we want to do the next little step in our experiment. We want some hydrogen peroxide and we need one piece of liver. I'm going to put it in here. Okay. And we're going to watch a reaction happen. Okay, yes, we see it's happening. We know it. We've done it before. This is all moving forward well and good. I can you know, push it around in there a little bit. I can get, get it really going here. And I can let that go for a little bit. And then I can get this liver out of here, hopefully. And I can put it into my next test tube. This piece of liver is not very good. Okay, I can put it into the next test tube. And we see it continue with the reaction. Okay. Now this one's continuing as well because there's bits of liver still left in there actually. Um, but we still see the reaction occurring in this next test tube. Even though the liver has already been used here, it is still working in this new test tube of H2O2. Okay. And so that is evidence that the enzymes can be reused over and over and over again. All right. Whereas a, a chemical catalyst, it can't be. Uh, I can't take that Mg or sorry, the MnO2 um, out of the test tube and reuse it into the next one. Okay, a chemical catalyst gets used up. A biological catalyst, on the other hand, um, can be reused over and over and over again. And that is the definition of an enzyme. Okay, it's going to speed up the chemical reaction and it can be reused over and over again.